So what's talking? This is Street Talk. My name is Ster Chong, and today we are going to hit the streets of Singapore to find out more about what people think about the Lee family saga. So let's go. So I would like to ask you about your thoughts of the Lee family saga. Do you know about it? Uh, I think I kind of heard about it, but I didn't read much about it. Yeah. Well, I don't really follow it closely, but the last thing I recall was like it's a quite an old issue, I guess. Uh, yes, it's such a big uh, news all over the place. I mean, we heard, we 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 got to know through the newspaper lah about this the story again. It's what the newspaper write, but the actual thing we won't know. So, do you think that this should be a private or public affair? Definitely a private affair because it doesn't, sh- at least to me, it doesn't really show professionalism. You have to keep your work and that personal life separate. They are a public figure, so I guess this could be a public affair. Yeah, I think some family matters shouldn't be dragged into like to become public matters. The more people know about something, then I think it's worse because uh, there's more opinions, too many opinions about it, which makes it difficult to solve. This kind of things does not really. Um, matter to me because like as long as uh, the country still still progresses well then it's fine to me it's a family affair and um, it shouldn't be settled in parliament first and foremost it should be closed door discuss whatever who want to sue who is among themselves because to me he is a PM of the country it's a private affair it's, a, it's just a family members in the Within the wheel, who who is what's inside the wheel is only the family members will know. So it has nothing to do with us public want to know what the wheel is all about. Private. This kind of thing we don't really need to know, lah. Yeah, they can just keep it to themselves. If not, it will just cause a lot of unnecessary comments and about them. Yeah. All right. So do you think this Lee family saga is damaging Singapore's reputation? Uh, I think it is to a certain extent because, like, uh, the news outlets in like other countries are also reporting about it. They it should actually be focusing on like what Singapore is good for, like the economy, and not this kind of private matters. Yeah. In a way, I do think so, lah, because of uh, Mr. Lee's uh, use reputation, even when he was a prime minister, by bringing this stuff of uh, affairs into the public, he does affect our reputation in, in Singapore as well. Then actually because it's not that big an issue because even I did not really know about it. There are other things that destroy Singapore's reputation like the recently the Wuhan thing. Yeah in, in some way yes. Uh, I think like it kind of put us in a bad spotlight to be honest because all the drama started showing out and people were like even within Singaporeans themselves they start to feel a bit like oh, why why is this happening yeah I don't think so because um, Singapore is not owned by him alone it's um, populations it's, it's the other 4G generation the, the, the other ministers Big time. <laughs> big time. <laughs> big time, yes. I mean, he is our PM. <laughs> right, so do you think for this Lee family saga, who do you think is the right party? <laughs> no comments. <laughs> Alright. Normally, when there's a problem, both parties are at fault. It's just. Who is more at fault? I don't have a personal preference, but I, I'm kind of neutral on both sides, so I don't have a definite answer to that. Yeah. I, for me, there's no wrong or right. It's just they brought it up this matter, and everybody knows about it. So in the, in the end, who is right, who is wrong? I think they themselves know about it. <laughs> we, we as public, we, we don't know what is uh, what's it behind over this whole thing. Oh no, I, I don't I, I don't think I I can judge for that. No. Sorry, I no, no comment. <laughs> go 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 no comment is also a comment. If we got no permission you cannot talk about him. No permission cannot talk about him. Yes. People talk about him, he report to police. The police middle of the night went to the fellow house to arrest him. Don't play a fool. He is very powerful. 
nobody can overturn him. 这是他们家里的事情嘛？我们可以讲什么？我们不能讲什么嘛？因为这个是李冠耀家族的问题，我们不可以插手。So this concludes yet another episode of Street Talk. I've heard a lot of insightful comments about this matter, but yet a lot of people are afraid to air their views because they deem this as something political in nature. So that's it for now. My name is Ter Chong, and I'm signing out from another episode of Street Talk. <laughs>